This takes a, a 12 millimeter open end. If I can get it turned. Let's see. Okay. I should have, of course, broken these nuts loose before I ever took the carburetor apart. Well, that isn't coming out too easily. I need another wrench. I mean, hang on just a second. Okay, I got it loose. Uh, full disclosure here, I had to clamp the carburetor in a vise between the jaws like this. Um, I laid a towel over the vise, up over the other jaws, put the carburetor in the middle, clamped the jaws down on here to hold the, the carburetor like that, and then I was able to loosen that nut. It was pretty tight on there. It's a 12 millimeter size. And I'm unscrewing this now. Um, the lever will come off of here and let's see what's inside on the plunger for the enricher okay we got a brass fitting there here's the lever and uh... it just comes out like that i'm gonna just throw that in the cleaner it's pretty gritty get it cleaned up a little bit uh, this is a a keeper metal here, and it fits like that on the the carburetor. So I'm going to take that piece off and uh, put it in the cleaner. There's a little rubber boot on the top, and that is what I do not want to put into the cleaner. And that is like that. Let's see if I can get that off of there. Again, I'll go back to my handy pick. Yeah, it just is stuck on there. It has a, a ridge. Not going to be easy to get off, but it needs to come off of there. This boot it just keeps the water and junk from getting down into the enricher lever, the plunger. So it's kind of a struggle to get off of there, but I just about got it off. Now I'm going to put that rubber boot over with my parts that will not go into the, the cleaner. And this doesn't want to come apart, so I'm going to accept that's the way it is and this piece the entire plunger will go into the carburetor cleaner and then the next thing we've got the carburetor stripped as far as we need to strip it uh, this is the fuel inlet this is an overflow in case the the float overflows this is another overflow on this side these normally have plastic tubes running down and they're held by little clips that stick off of each one of the bolts of the carburetor. Um, oh, there's a little spring fell out in my hand and where that came from is that came from the low speed air and again it is another item that I see no reason for cleaning so I'm going to put it over to the side and there's no more loose parts all we have left is the body here so it's going to go into the tank right now get that covered up as much as I can there we go the carbs completely submerged so we'll wait about 24 hours and I'll take it out and then I'll be washing the carburetor out with with not boiling but very hot water um, that's what I like to use to clean the carburetor out and then after the hot water bath it will get blown out with air and hopefully it'll look a lot better okay thanks for watching